Okay, so good morning everyone. Today we will have a presentation, maybe two or three parts about breast calcifications. What do we need to know? It's evaluation and mammogramic, mammographic evaluation of the breast calcification. First of all, I will not go into details about the BIRADS classification. The BIRADS, you know, it is a classification of any abnormality you see on a mammogram or ultrasound. Just in case one of us is, does not know what's BIRADS, quick uh, review. Uh, BIRADS is any abnormality you see on a mammogram or a breast ultrasound or whatever, you give it a number starting from BIRADS 0 to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Okay? So, quickly review it. BIRADS 0 is what? Incomplete. It's incomplete evaluation. Then you need to do something. You've seen something on a mammogram, you need to do an ultrasound. You give it BIRADS 0, for example. Okay? BIRADS 1 is? It's a normal mammogram. You have seen nothing. Everything is normal. BIRADS 2 is? Benign. Benign finding. You have more, uh, you, you, you are, so you've seen something and you are cert certain that this is benign. Does it not need any follow-up or any management? BIRADS 3 is more than 97% sure that you are benign. That it is benign. Okay? So, more than 97% sure that you, that the, the abnormality is benign. Okay? BIRADS 4 is the problem. BIRADS 4, it's um, from 3% to 97%, not sure, let's say. Yani, BIRADS 4 means I don't know. When you see something, you don't know what it is, you say BIRADS 4. It is the most, yeah, the biggest part, and you, the most yani, type that is reported, BIRADS 4. From 3 to 97, okay? Some people divide it into BIRADS 4A, B, and C. Some divisions. BIRADS 4, uh, sorry, BIRADS 5, I'm sorry. I'm more than 97% or 98% sure that this is a malignant lesion, okay? And BIRADS 6 is? It's diagnosed as malignancy. Any patient had a cystopathological diagnosis of malignancy. Keep in mind, BIRAD classification, which is by the American College of Radiology, ACR, does not apply to lesions or abnormalities that have been treated or managed. Yani, someone, female, comes with a breast mass, you do an ultra, you do a mammogram, an ultrasound, blah, blah, blah. You give it by rats 5. Yeah, any malignant. Or I'm 97, 98% sure it's malignant. Okay? You do a breast biopsy. Histopathology becomes, comes malignant. Okay? Now it's what? Now it's by rats 6. Sharp, no one touched it. Mahad Madida Alan abnormal. The patient has mastectomy, left, ma left mass, breast mass, left mastectomy, okay? Now comes for ultrasound, you say left mastectomy, right breast is normal, blah, 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 okay? Now, what BIRAD you, uh, you put it for the left breast, the mastectomized breast? Is it six because it's a normal malignancy? Is it zero because it's incomplete? Is it one because it's normal now? What BIRAD you add? None. It does not apply to lesions that have been treated. Okay? You give the right breast by RADS 1 or 2 or 3 or 4, whatever. The right, the one that has not been treated or nothing is done there, no abnormality there. But the one that has been treated by RAD system does not apply. You just say left mastectomy, clear surgical bed, blah, blah, blah. That's it. If you find abnormality in that breast, you give BIRAD for that abnormality. For example, if you add, if you see a hematoma or a seroma, you give a BIRAD too. Mufum? Yani BIRAD. Either lesion treated, 
ما يتطبق does not apply Yeah, you don't add viral. You don't mention a viral. You describe what you see. There are some skin thickening, for example, related to surgery or radiotherapy or whatever. Yeah, that's it. You don't give a viral. Come on? Anyway, so just this is a very quick review of the viral classification system. Now let's come to the radiologic evaluation of the uh, breast calcification. Most of the breast calcifications are benign. Okay? When we hear a breast calcification, oh, microcalcification, grouped, malignant, uh, biopsy, uh, no, I don't know what. The most of them are benign, okay? Most, uh, usually there are two types of breast calcification, either high, uh, calcium oxalate or calcium phosphate. Calcium oxalate, usually we see it in benign lesions. Calcium phosphate can be seen in benign and malignant, usually, okay? Then we can just... Yeah, and for uh, a fact, you can, uh, by radiology, you cannot differentiate, of course. Okay? Usually, calcifications, they develop in a space, like the ducts, the SNI, and they are molded by the space. Yeah, and they take the shape of the SNI, the shape of the duct, and that is our job to differentiate where is this calcification developing, okay? So, if they arise in the ducts, they are tube-like, linear, may demonstrate linear distribution. If they develop in the subsegmental ducts, huh, they will be large, rod-like, dense. While if they develop in the terminal ducts, they will be smaller. Okay, So the size of the duct they develop will depend on the, yeah, it will determine the size of the calcifications. Okay, If the epithelial lining of the duct is denuded, yani sloughed, Okay, the borders of the calcification will be what? Will be smooth. The borders of the calcification is very important to decide whether it is smooth, ragged, jagged, irregular, amorphous. We'll see a lot of examples, a lot of examples. Okay, if the borders are de uh, denuded, the borders will be smooth. If there is active cellular proliferation and necrotic debris in the lumen of the duct, the calcification will have a regular margin. So if you see a regular margin, there is active cellular proliferation. It's bad news. Okay? Calcification forming in the SNI, the SNI is round, the calcification will be rounded or punctate. Okay? If normally round SNI, the, the SNI normally are round. If they are compressed by whatever process, stromal proliferation, inflammation, infection, whatever. If the SNI compressed, can be elongated, deformed, the calcification will suffer. There will be pleomorphism. What do we mean by pleomorphism? Multiple shapes. Pleomorphism. The calcifications you'll see round, punctate, oval, comma shaped, different shapes of calcifications. Okay? Because the stroma is molded. Mashi? So, when you see a calcification, you have a mammogram, there is a calcification there. There are some questions that you need to ask yourself and answer it every time. First, you need to ask, what is the form of calcification? Okay? Is it round, linear, coarse, fine, monomorphic, pleomorphic, or with a cluster? You, you should, one of these options you have, you put a circle. Okay? Second, what is the size of calcification? Are they large? Or small, okay. We'll we'll discuss it later. Don't worry. If in a cluster are the individual calcifications homogeneous in size, all of them are the same size, or some are big, some some are small or heterogeneous, okay. What is the density of the calcification? High density or low density? All of these will make a, a difference in the differential diagnosis and further management. If you have a cluster of calcification in this cluster, is there homogeneity in the density among the individual calcification? All of them are the same density within the same cluster, okay? And most importantly is what is the distribution of the calcification, okay? Is it unilateral or bilateral? Single, cluster or multifocal, diffuse, regional, segmental, linear, where they are located, how they are 
distributed تمام now these are the questions that we have to answer every time we see a cluster of calcifications okay so for example here we can see there is there are large rod like calcifications you can see this okay forming in the what this this we call subsegmental ducts and we say when we said when it is in subsegmental ducts it will be large smooth borders because the epithelium is denuded okay they are oriented towards the nipple okay you can see that because within the subsegmental ducts they go towards the nipple huh and the smooth border reflects the denuded attenuated epithelial lining what by rods you give this two okay subsegmental well defined large smooth outline smooth borders within the subsegmental ducts this is a birad 2 bina okay now let's see another example of calcification for example this is a spot compression view okay uh, and magnification this is a spot compression and this is a magnification view okay you can see uh, linear or casting type calcifications and you can see their margins are irregular okay it's not regular margins huh because they are molded by the proliferating epithelial cells as we said if there is a proliferation in the surrounding they will be molded they will take pleomorphic shapes and will be irregular margins jagged margins and you can see uh, the calcification are linear in orientation and with regional distribution these are linear you can see it's in the form of a line and with a clusters regional distribution so for example uh, this will be what kind of by rods you can put either four or five okay the the thing is if you do this is a magnification view if you see the magnification there are some cliffs within the calcifications Classifications, if you look carefully, okay, it's uh, cliffs, okay, yeah, something like dot and dash, yeah, exactly. Okay, this is a suspicious feature. Now, let's look at this. How would you describe these classifications? They are round, they're punctate. This is it's a cluster, okay. It's well circumscribed, it's regular, high density. Most likely, this calcification is where? Ducts or SNI? SNI, okay? Most, in the, uh, most likely, it's in the SNI. Uh, so, what gyras do you give them? Two. It's round, it's well defined, it's uni, the same density, same size, it's well defined. It's not within an area of, for example, breast distortion or mass-like lesion. So this will be a Bayrats 2. It means nothing. Now, what about this one? This is an MLO view, mediolateral oblique, showing linear calcification, irregular borders, huh? linear ori orientation, and clefts. If you look, at, it's not continuous. It's clefts within the micro within the calcifications let's not say micro or macro whatever okay and this is what's called a spot compression view of the same abnormality showing the linear calcification with irregular borders variable density different uh, clefts and uh, regular outline you can see some round some punctate calcification scattered here and there it's pleomorphic huh so, this type, what happened? Just a second. Uh, what's going on? So, these types of calcifications are pathognomic, pathognomonic of DCIS, ductal carcinoma in situ. Okay? So, these are by rats, you get five. Okay? Yeah, at least you, you that it, you say four, but it's five. Pleomorphic, irregular, cleft, slight, linear, 
okay now what are the causes of linear caustic branching and pleomorphic calcifications you have the following causes first ductal carcinoma in situ usually it is with with central necrosis the pathology the pathological report fat necrosis in the early stages of calcification is a rare cause fibroadenomas rarely can cause this dystrophic calcification also rare and autoimmune disorders like dermatomyositis scleroderma and lupus are rare so there are five causes one is common four is rare four are rare Sorry. Here, it starts with ductal carcinoma. Inside. We will talk a lot about in the later. We have a big part of the presentation about the malignant calcifications. It starts with DCIS can be low grade or high grade. Low grade can stay within the duct for years and years. Okay, but if it developed an invasive component, that's when the real uh, problem begins. Okay, so you have five causes, four are rare, one is common. So when you see linear casting, branching, and pleomorphic calcification, always report a DCIS. Yeah, because when you have a story, I found them very malignant, second is very benign. Exactly. <laughs> it's causes of the calcification. <laughs> okay. It's but rare. Rare. Not uncommon. لا رير يعني if you have a hundred cases of linear branch casting you will have 99 percent of DCIS and maybe one fibroadenoma or dystrophic or whatever it's rare just keep it in mind it might happen okay so what how do you describe these calcifications first there is an uh, ML of you what are the type or distribution and density of this calcification? It's round, repunctate, and amorphous. Amorphous means without a specific shape. يعني شكلها you cannot describe the shape. Amorphous. Okay. These are amorphous, and uh, of course, this is a magnification view. It's in linear distribution, tamam. obviously. Develop in the upper inner quadrant of the left breast. Ah, damn it, what's going on? This I don't know what's wrong with the most. Sorry? Oh, listen, we are, uh, of course, there is some uh, stellate lesion, but we are, we will. The, we will not discuss the masses on the mammography. We will discuss only the calcifications. And it's this, important yeah, masses. exactly. Of course, Taban, if you are doing the whole thing, maybe later we have another presentation of benign breast masses or malignant breast masses. We have a lot to talk about the uh, breast. So this was in the upper inner quad, upper inner quadrant of the left breast, which is a non-common or not common uh, place for a benign calcification. Usually, you go with the malignant in the upper inner quadrant okay so these calcifications are non-specific maybe related to fibrocystic changes focal fibrosis or fibroadenomas papillomas however if internal development uh, interval development uh, warrants a biopsy yani if this do a mammogram after maybe a year six months year there will be more of these calcifications then the, if there is increasing in the calcification in not very typical location, do a biopsy. Suspicious, Suspicious exactly. You give it by rods far four, maybe five. And this was a DCIS. Could be your ultrasound We will we will not discuss the ultrasound. I'm talking about the mammography of the calcification. We cannot put everything we will need forever to finish. Get it? <laughs> of course, you do a mammogram, uh, sorry, a breast ultrasound to see whether there is a mass, whether there is nothing, whether there is architectural distortion. Of course, you do, you, you do whatever you need to give a diagnosis. So, a mammogram, so, a ultrasound, so, a follow up, so, a compression view, 
تسوي اي دونت نو وات ايفر يو لايك ام ار اي بايوبسي جيف ذا دايجنوستس اوكي بيكوز اتس لايف اور ديث يعني يو ار نوت توكينج اباوت ستون اف يو ميس ات نو بروبلم اتس لايف اور ديث Now, what about this one? They are, what's the shape of the of the calcification? It's a cluster. The distribution is in cluster. The shape is. Do you think it's amorphous? It's, it's more likely. It's round. Most of them round and punctate. Okay, you can see they are round, small but round. Okay, we can have a magnification view and you decide better. What about the density? Equal or different? Equal. Equal. Come on, guys. Speak on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. So, uh, these are within the SNI. They are rounded. You can see here. It's, look, leave this one because there is some density here. Okay. Go for the lucent part. They are all rounded. They are almost of the same size. They are punctate, okay? The density is this almost the same. I'm not talking about 100% the same. Almost the same. And you give this a uh, by rods? Two or three. Two or three, okay? I would give it three. And anyway, just in case, follow it up anyway. Do an uh, mammogram after one year and look for the, the classification will be better demonstrated. Okay, but don't be afraid because it has all the benign features, this group of calcification. So, what are the causes of clusters of punctate and round calcifications? Can be lobular calcification, sclerosing adenosis or fibrocystic disease, uh, fibroadenomas, fibrocystic changes, papillomas, and lastly is DCIS. You know, in medicine, uh, never say never. Anything can happen. So, in, uh, first time, there the most common was DCIS, while here is the least common DCIS, but it can happen in both. Okay? DCIS means ductal carcinoma inside. So, benign breast calcifications, where do they develop? Where's in the breast? They develop in the following parts. They can develop in the skin, in the fibrous trauma, in the ducts, large or small ducts, they can develop in the SNI, in the arteries, in masses, like in a cyst, uh, like in, for example, in the wall, like in a cyst, or in the stroma of a mass, like in fibroadenoma, for example. Okay? If the mass contains fluid, the calcification may be in suspension, in the milk of calcium, in the teacup appearance. We'll, we'll see some. Okay? Smudged in the in one of you and teacup appearance in the second of you. And in foreign bodies like sutures and in rarely in parasites. Parasites of the breast can also we have some cases we'll show you. Okay? Now when you see a calcification, you need to describe it using specific words. This group of words they call it lexicon. Okay? When I tell you what's the ACR lexicon, the word lexicon means Uh, group of terms we need to see recommended by the American College of Radiology okay so what is the ACR lexicon for calcifications the benign skin the benign calcifications are either in the skin vascular can be or casting coarse like in popcorn big ones large rod like like we see previously in the first case if you remember Roger, large rod Land rod like round if it has lucent center, it's a benign eggshell or rim in the wall of a cyst. If it's a milk of calcium, if it's an suture or dystrophic or punctate about 0.5 millimeter, these are benign features. So, not every punctate is malignant, uh, micro calcification. Uh, no, in fact, most of them are benign. Intermediate concern if it is. Amorphous or indistinct. Okay? And high probability of malignancy it's if it is pleomorphic or heterogeneous, fine linear and or fine linear branching. Yani molded by the proliferating stroma. 
surrounding stromas, proliferating, changing the shape of the SNI and the ducts and, and changing the calcification. Okay? I know it's so cold here. Let me tell you. It's just so weird. It's so cold. It's so cold. It's so cold. It's so cold. Okay. No, no problem. Adi, adi. Don't worry. So, the distribution of calcification. How do we describe it? There is an ACR lexicon, a group of terms for distribution. You, when you see a calcification, you need to choose one of these. Is it grouped, clustered, linear, segmental, regional, or diffuse and scattered? Everyone has its meaning. So, now, the, for the benign calcification, we will start and we will go on with the different types of calcifications. First, the first site of, press, of benign press calcification is within the skin. Okay, it's either it will be either round or oval shape. It has a lucent center. Very important to look for the center. Does it have a lucent center or not? Okay. Is it isolated or multiple, unilateral or bilateral? Can be all of these. Sometimes it will have a list-like pattern when associated with moles. If the patient has a mole on the skin of the breast, you can see some lace like pattern we will see multiple examples just sour be patient so skin calcification can develop in association with moles or other skin lesions like sebaceous cysts they can outline the surfaces of the mole creating what's called like semicircular or lace like calcification as we said oh placing a metallic bb you know uh, bb is like a small metallic uh, ball or metallic piece just metal you put it on the lesion you do a mammogram you'll see the calcification moves with the bb in every direction okay this will confirm that the lesion is within the skin okay so for example here obviously they are multiple diffuse okay round large well defined Okay. Do you have any doubt that this is a benign calcification? It's hundred percent benign. Cannot be anything other than benign. Okay. Some of them have a center. And exactly, some of them have a lucent center. Okay. And these are okay. two hundred percent benign, 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 and it is within the skin. So, now what if there is something? You see, maybe it's within the skin, maybe it's within the breast. You just put a metallic BB, this is called, just small rounded metal thing on the lesion, okay? And you can see this uh, spot tangential view demonstrating the dermal location of the cluster of rounded oval calcification. Uh, it, it does not show uh, the, the lucent center, but when you put the metallic thing, you can see it's moving with it on every projection confirming this is within the breast, it's benign. Within the skin, sorry, it's benign. Okay? Yani, without this, this will be suspicious. Uh, it might be punctate, I don't know, Some needs further evaluation. Just put something on the skin, it moves, it's benign, send her home. Bye, 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 bye. Okay? So, let's see this other example. Also, it's a skin calcification. There's uh, on the first image here. There is a cluster of calcification, and with the magnification view, calcification is not very well defined. Maybe some amorphous or linear. So the patient was presented for a <coughs> stereotactic guided biopsy. Sorry, yeah, different densities exactly. So the patient was and it suggested a biopsy. However, when, when they reviewed the uh, images furthermore, if you look carefully, they are curvilinear. Some have lucent centers, if you look carefully, okay? Uh, there is a, a sharp curvilinear lucency outlining the lesion. If you look carefully, something here may be some lucency faint outlining the lesion. Uh, so they went on for physical examination of the patient and there was a mole on the breast of this patient okay and metallic BB they placed it here 
do a mammogram it's in contact with it confirming it is just a benign breast mole okay skin mole and biopsy was cancelled the patient is safe nothing send her home At the first, it was suspicious. At the first look, if you look here, it's not very well defined, okay? They did a magnification view and was suggested for a biopsy. Yeah, and they are starting to perform, to prepare for a biopsy. But on further review, it's not very well, you can see it's, it's uh, curvilinear. It's not like punctate or amorphous, it's more of a curvilinear. On physical examination, there was a mole. Confirm it with a vitalic BB, and that's it nothing else okay so physical examination is also important at, and it is a part of our job as a radiologist now what else let's see here this is a skin nodule associated with pleomorphic calcification these are pleomorphic okay on the screening mammogram the first one uh, shows the A and B shows the indistinct margins and the calcifications you can see the arrows it's small tiny calcifications uh, on careful physical examination the skin lesion is seen corresponding to the expected location on the mammographic findings they did the examination there's some nodule or mole or whatever put a metallic BB <coughs> and you see that it is moving with the metallic BB and what do we need to do? Nothing. Send her home. On examination, there was a skin mole. They put a metallic PB. They saw that the calcification is moving with the metallic thing. So it's just a skin lesion with some calcifications, whether they are big, small, micro, macro, I don't care. It's a skin lesion. It's benign. Send her home. Physical examination, then ultrasound. And the skin, it's not in the breast. Okay, it's not a glandular tissue. It's just the skin. It's a whole different part of the tissue. Okay, so it's a Bayrats 2. Send her home. Okay, I think we have a few more minutes. So, this was, well, how do you describe this? What's the density, high or low? Different densities. Some of them show central lucency, exactly. It's surrounded, and it's within a cluster. Okay? So, what do you think this is, benign or malignant? It's on a skin lesion. It's benign. If you have any concern, what would you like to do? Put a metallic baby on it and do an X-ray, a uh, mammogram, yani, and it's more, it's more other options. That this might be some sort of, I don't know, deodorant or lotion or whatever they put. Just wipe the skin clean, do it again. You, It might stay, might go. If it went away, that's it. <coughs> some patients, they use uh, some metallic, metal containing deodorants, uh, creams and lotions and uh, Perfumes and I don't know what. Okay. Sorry. I don't think so. Cyst will not show this kind of calcification. This is on the surface, metallic things. So just wipe it clean, the breast, the part that's showing the calcification. Do the mammogram again. If it disappears, that's it. Game over. Okay. So, uh, I think we need to stop here now. Maybe continue tomorrow. Tomorrow we'll continue with the vascular calcifications, okay? Any questions till now?